How to prepare your Chi OS device with recovery mode for any custom restorations. Prepare the SD card using the following files. 1. A recovery.img image customized with test keys. 2. The dompol.zip file of speed up loop, which must be run by recovery mode to obtain a complete backup of all the partitions on the device, which will be saved in the new folder that will be created during the procedure, called dumps. 3. Use the pure schnitz tool for bash.zip, with the file bash4zip.sh compiled correctly, in order to flash the partitions that most interest us. Progress 1. Recovery Mode In this first phase we will replace the stock recovery with a customized one. The guide is divided into two parts, depending on whether you want to execute a secure method that does not interrupt the updates or if you want to make this change permanent by modifying the slash bin slash install recovery.sh script on the system partition. The full video can be found on my channel. The slash system slash bin slash install recovery.sh file reinstalls the recovery partition on first boot. If we want to make only a temporary change for start restore or clean the damaged partitions, run these commands, from root, using our Wallace and Adbrut applications. Adshell dd if equals slash card slash recovery dot tim give equals slash dev slash block slash boot dev slash by name slash recovery exit ad reboot recovery with this last command the device will be restarted in recovery mode where the zip packages to flash are present to back up from recovery mode install the zip packages you want to use as I said before, the dompol.zip package from speedup will download the copy of all the partitions on the device onto the SD card. Make sure you have enough space on the card to do this. To give you an example, an Nokia 8110 4G with dompol.zip gets 32 partition images, for a total of almost 4 GB, depending on the applications installed inside. The R file user data dot Tim gone to 8110 reaches to weigh at least 2 gigabytes. The file system dot Tim instead exceeds 800 kilobytes. The partitions will be saved in a folder that will be called dumps. 3. Restore. Configure the bash for zip dot sh file, which depends on pure its executable for bash dot zip zip depending on your needs. The package also contains Busybox binary file to perform the necessary operations from root. Be very careful to enter the exact location of the file you want to flash and the correct destination. DD if equals slash card slash your custom folder slash partition dot of equals slash dev slash block slash boot dev slash by name slash partition where your custom folder is the folder containing the partition img file that we want to flash in partition on the bonanahackers.net website page there is a restore 8110.7z archive containing 4bash.zip a bash 4zip.sh file already compiled for Nokia 8110 up to firmware 13 with the list of partitions needed for update to the latest version, and finally a folder I called New Dumps, in which you can insert all the clean images you need. Personally for my Nokia 8110 I've configured bash4zip.sh in order to use a backup of the data partition, which the dd command recognizes as user data, and the related user data.tim file to keep my customizations and configurations intact every time I perform a factory reset or do some more hazardous experiments on the data partition. 4. Start the phone normally. I hope I have been helpful in some way. You can find the complete guide in the backup section of the bonanahackers.net site. Thanks for your attention. Subscribe to the channel and continue to follow the developments of our research on Discord and Google Groups. See you next.
BonanaHackers.net. Join the revolution.